about the Nigerian Naira and what did she said in that video that is making my people to start to mourn. My people are mourning because of what Efia said and ask me what did she say exactly to a people that have said a lot to other people especially to Ghanaians. And she went on Google and did a conversion $100 to Naira and it gives her 160,630 naira. Dollar don't reach like that. And she captioned the post. Nigeria was the giant of Africa. But now they are the chatter bundle of Africa. <laughs> that was when Ghana had their own issues. Ghana cities went from 8 eight cities per dollar to 15 ghana cities in within a week that i used to buy here at the nigerian stores in ghana that cost me a lot of money because these things are imported from nigeria to ghana by nigerians to sell to nigerians what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hello there welcome in my name is lillian and this video is a reaction video of how the table has turned giant of africa and the gateway to africa is like this it has hey table has turned the table has turned hey you see most almost every nigerian you see tends to be like loud and defensive and aggressive many of us were not born that way trust me we were born raised to be gentle but naja it tough you know some nigerians will make you tough and that is what some nigerians do not know when you are bullying people you are building them up to be strong to become bullies and that is where the problem is guess what just like that nigerians have successfully imbibe that into Ghanaians and now Ghanaians have become the re-givers of boss or bass. It's just so that them now they are not plenty in numbers. The ones that have time for that are not many. It's just some of them when sit and say ah these people have been doing anyhow for many years. Let me go and give them a taste of their own medicine. They just go there and do pim fire is everywhere so yesterday after doing my youtube videos because if you know me one-on-one -on -one, you know that my routine now is like this it's tight it's tight city you cannot separate it i like my routine is so tight lately but i still managed to go on instant blog ninja i mean like why not instant blog that is where you get to know what is happening at home country which state is joining or not joining the protest that is where you get to know everything that is happening the good the bad the ugly of nancha instant blog nancha right just there that was stumble on that post the instant blog reposted of afia swazianga maybe familiar with afia swazianga she is uh i'm going to write that name on the screen so don't don't even think of attacking attacking me don't attack me don't attack me i'll write it so afia is a very popular actress in ghana and she's an african she's an actress from ghana a TV presenter, a businesswoman, a mom, a this, a plenty, a that, and a lover to hater of Nancha people. Afia has been that one Ghanaian that have, you know, always learned from Nigerians. And she has been giving Nigerians both bars. Even me, before now, if you have blocked me, my first account on Instagram, because you see me like this as a small, I know the hear word. If you tweeted something back then complaining of attitude of some Nigerians and back then I have not been to Ghana before I did not understand what she's talking about so I went to fight for Nigeria mm, you understand I wanted to be the savior of the Nigeria people of my country so I went on our channel and I started to fight why are you complaining about Nigerians leave Nigerians alone I went to cry she blocked me the good thing is that I lost access to that account and the new account now I'm allowed to her channel but my mama and my papa 
no bummy where to troll her again because she's got block my ass and yesterday on instant block she instant block reposted a post that if yeah made about the nigerian naira and what did she said in that video that is making my people to start to mourn See, my people are mourning because of what Ifia said and ask me what did she say exactly to a people that have said a lot to other people especially to Ghanaians so what in this life can she say that can get to Nigerians not you know she just said <laughs> she just made a post i'm going to you know display that on the screen but let me read it out for you guys she said hmm she went on google and do the conversion converted hundred dollars to naira and it gives her 160,630 naira dollar don't reach like that so if they send hundred dollar now to nigeria i mean like hundred us dollars you stand to get one hundred and sixty thousand six hundred and thirty nigerian naira on top of on top of one hundred dollars and she captioned the post nigeria was the giant of africa but now they are the shatter bundle of africa <laughs> this auntie get bad mouth sha this is someone that learned from the Nigerian people see trust me in life if you learn something from people or someone you go come out like them this is exactly how it sounds when nigerians are doing it like painful the real bullies of the world the ones when they bully people sit it and they drag them say we are the best when it comes to bullying guess what they were doing it is well it's well no problem now see finish we don't blame you I was surprised. I said, now the same Nanja people be these. When we say they can throw you, say they, you begin to ask yourself, turning, turning. Now maybe this, your head go turn you, wine, wine, wine. Because even me, when day like this, I was a very gentle girl. Gentle girl when I started this, my YouTube channel. Uh, who built me up? Achimaxi of Cameroon and the good people of Nigeria. They team up together. They build me and like this now. I'm now like if yeah, if I say anything now, everybody will cry. Eh, hey, she hate in her country, oh then go cry me a reason. Dear bullies, Ghanaians are waking up. Oh, the table is turning. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? And now to think that everybody wants to play victim is a no, don't try it. Because in 2022, me, Lily, I suffered in the hands of some Nigerians. Ah, Nigerians like Pik Vicky, <laughs> Psycho Fan Ajim, Wigan, 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 Wigan. That ones that I can't remember. But yeah, and Nigerians are, and the Indians, Nigerians at the comment section of Ajim Maxi. And what was my offense? That was when Ghana had their own issues. Ghana cities was struggling. Ghana cities went from eight cities per dollar to 15 Ghana cities in within a week. We woke up one day and dollars was up there so high against the cities that you cannot even see their, their distance. E high. You understand? Dollar high city cities became like Meow, like baby hmm a lot of people came for me nancha people especially ajima ajama zajim chimpazi mazi ajim chimpazi mazi the errand boy of my beloved people of nancha he came for me hey this this hey you will say tomorrow you wake up and say i've run to nigeria next tomorrow you will say i'm going shopping in nigeria and that was the time i was applying for the renewal of my passport because because my passport expired then and I was, I because I didn't have anyone I could count on in Nigeria I was going to Nigeria 
in and out to, to see if my passport was ready, to check if my passport was ready. When they asked me to bribe them, I said, I know they do. Um, I wanted to do what is right. Not because I'm a righteous person. I just didn't want to give anybody my money because I wasn't in a hurry to get that passport. Like, where are they go? I do come to Ghana without it because it's something that people do. Just that you will pay a lot of money on the road more than someone with a passport and it there's nothing illegal about it so why will i carry that money and give to these people instead you see that nigeria so i could go and they come and of course as a nigerian who lives outside of nigeria even though i have been cancelled by some nigerians not to be a nigerian because of course i don't want them to bully other people i am a nigerian and forever will be because of course i was born raised in nigeria and taught how to eat the nigerian food i eat the nigerian food even here in ghana so it was fair for me to have bought all the things all the necessary things that i used to buy here at the nigerian stores in ghana that cost me a lot of money because these things are imported from nigeria to ghana by nigerians to sell to nigerians and my people because i have a, i have i have a family that i need to feed and that is what we eat so i decided to buy these things when i go to nigeria that time i was sharing everything about my life with people i didn't know that a lot of people would sit down and use it against me you know as we grow now we learn the hard way and i, I learned the hard way so i Jim constantly made videos saying that made videos saying that i had to run from ghana to go buy food in nigeria because ghanaians don't have food again i Jim maxi but these videos he deleted them because youtube slapped him the spirit of mother ghana landed that guy a take this lap and he got demonetized he deleted that video otherwise i would have gone there now to bring it today and nigerians were enjoying themselves they laugh like say they won't die they peace for body because the biggest deal was in the mud which is me and guess what they did all that they enjoyed themselves mm -hmm now in ghana that time if you wake up today to go buy coke that time if you wake up in ghana to go buy coke and it is sold for two cities when you go back in the afternoon it is three cities 50 pesos if you go in the evening it's now five cities and these people were mocking Ghanaians and they were mocking themselves laughing at all that loves to live here that are they say we are going back they laugh I thought that they would be able to handle it when it's thrown at them. <laughs> but if yeah, I mean, uh, this auntie, if yeah, now just made a small tweet. She not even get leave her to write. She just wrote that small. Ah! And everybody, everybody is crying. I don't blame her. Focus on your country. It is well. It is this. I trust my Tonto DK, my Naja Delta sister, because we understand the game. Tonto was laughing the entire time because why you go carry that kind of thing? Put for heart. When you they do you call and cruise. But when others are doing it, you go say they hate you. You know, and uh, today, not today. I I decided to visit Kojo Shadon because, I mean, why not? This video have been trending in the Nigerian space for some time, but I didn't. I don't like to get into the heat when it is hotting because then go say Nami bring them because they are going to say I'm the one that brought it. So I like to let it cool and I'll think about it banter if I want to get into that or not. But I feel like let me get into it now because a lot of people need to learn because they are learning the hard way. And that is why I want to play these clips by Kojo Shadon. Keep watching. I'll be back with my unbiased, unapologetic Ogbonge <laughs> opinion. Once we go into extra time, there's always a thought of penalties potentially. Yeah, definitely. And I don't think Nigeria will to come up against me and give a shootout. But I think they're going to pack themselves up because they're still not going to have Nigerians. Thank God we are not a Nigerians. Thank God. Oh, always shouting very loud. Don't know how to whisper. And why say Mr. instead of Mr. Thank God we are not a Nigerian. Nigerian players that want to come back to Nigeria before they go to their various clubs, please don't bother. Because there is no light at your airport. 
there is no light in your homes your houses there is nothing there is no light even the light in life should be have taken it nepa has taken it the light at the end of the tunnel it has been taken so don't bother just go back to your various clubs but then if you are if you play in nigeria like a Nyemba fc nikano pila and all those things i can't say some for you yes right now <laughs> nigeria no win the half corner bro some things happen where i feel like some nigerians are sore losers i'm not going to generalize it because there are nigerians that are, that they understand the art of bantering or the art of banter so we just do this back and forth and we move past that it's not like we are jealous of you or we want to see you fail or anything like that because at some point you have trolled us but when it is time for us to you know reciprocate what the uh, uh, uh the trolling now then you people are saying say, and uh, they are jealous of us and uh, uh they want to be like us and uh, they hate us nobody hates you bro nobody hates you it's just banter you didn't win forget it they won fair and square take your l and let's move on bro talk about the trophy is fake fake do you know what is fake please we all have precedents we know the work when the economy know the work we have light issues we have depreciation currency what what are we supposed to be jealous of the fact that you are 300 million now nah, we can't be jealous of that we are like hideous twins so the fact that you wanted to even go and win the afco and come and rub it in our face they have to vex me because we are in this shit together bro we fell together you think you want to you want to ask performance and all of a sudden you want to master the courage and go and win a trophy for here no way Okay, so that is Kojo there. Kojo Shadon, Kojo, Kojo Shadon is mocking Nigerians and that thing he's doing is him doing it on purpose. Do you understand? He knew what to expect because they attack him, sit it and drag in box. Even in boxer, they drag him. Sure, you trust by people now, they can drag. And we are bragging about dragging. We are the best when it comes to dragging. But when people drag them, why are they crying? Mm, why are we crying? This, when I do all these videos, you think I don't love Nigeria. When they're dragging you, they're dragging me. I need to pay me. But I, because I'm an activist, I like to watch them drag you the way you did to them so what is good for the gender is good for the grinder you see how kojo is coming at you guys <laughs> you see how kojo is coming at nigerians in the next five years they are coming because they are learning from you guys more generation of Ghanaians are coming to dare you and the one i don't understand is a whole ninja they hate us hey which kind of be this how dare you cry <laughs> giants they cry <laughs> why will you cry don't cry okay because when you go out there to look for trouble you are expected to stay back and fight like me growing up in my village if i go out and I think maybe that is why I never looked for trouble. But when you look for my trouble, you will get it. Except if I calculate that you are going to be able to beat me, I will let you go. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, when you look for my trouble, I will fight. Because I can't go back home to tell nobody. My mom don't want to hear that. I mean, or me finding trouble and running to the house. Which house? Because my mom will send me back to go there and fight. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these people may be able to beat me and beat me in public and i can't pass that road again tomorrow do you get it so if you're going to keep giving this trolling energy you're going to keep bullying other people be able to stand because more trolls more Ghanaians are coming a young generation of Ghanaians are coming these are the ones that had enough shabi we say now cruise so when they cruise you take them no they toss say ah even gonna betray us even gonna went to what the ones you have always go and mess and rob you shit clean your she rob you do this one then you rob south africans go do you you rob among ghana kenyans when we say na akuna matata keyboard warrior then go do you you go come rob among ghanians you think they won't wake up and start to troll you be ready because they are coming so i saw this and i felt like i have to bring this out here <laughs> this video as a matter of fact i do not hate nigeria or nigerians but the truth is that mm, the energy you're giving 
you go to collect. People are learning to understand. <laughs> People are learning. I am done with this video. If you are angry, go and beat a gym maxi, film it and bring it. I will react to it and, and I will apologize. And I promise to apologize to Ghanaians to stop trolling you, to stop mocking Naira. Because, I mean, it's the audacity for me. That time, everybody, including some illiterate on YouTube, will sit down and make a video and be saying Ghana cities is the lowest currency in the world. Ghana economy has trembled, has tre uh, perished, has done this. And I'm like, damn, the audacity for me. Now, we don't see truths. These people are coming. Now, this young generation of Ghanaians are coming. <laughs> <laughs> then they do social media like kojo now kojo now kojo when we say na social media person personality she be una say Ghanaians are lazy abi i hope that you have everything when you say that thing when you see people like kojo shadon because man if you're lazy you can't run a youtube channel like that like where you post many videos per day i mean even posting one video a day is a lot of work i hope that you people are seeing they are not lazy oh generation of Ghanaians are rising up and <laughs> some of us may even have to beg them you guys should give us id card my Ghanaian people make one give me id card so that when it happen i go show them to this young generation of Ghanaians that shall not touch me i have been i am an activist i have been speaking in favor of you and against or <sighs> Hey, so Nigerian, Nigerians and Ghanaians will continue to banter each other but when this is happen and the truth is, when this happens, just take it as a cruise. Stop reading meanings to it. Which one is, ah, you people hate us. I mean, like, this is cruise. Enjoy the cruise. I hope that this video is cruisable. And I will see you in my next cruise video. Bye. Ooh la la. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>